Well, hello everyone. This is Aileen with Martin Creatives. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a new journal that I just completed and her name is Rosie. She basically is all about roses. Um, I really like the vintage look and the Victorian era I think was a very astute time to reside in. The women were always dressed to the hilt. The men always had tails and top coats and top hats. And it was just, I, I don't know. I, ju I just think it's a magical, magical era. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to start by flipping through. Um, just so you know, the cover uh, is fabric that I recently got from Sherry at Studio 28E. I've then added some cheesecloth, some decorative lace. Uh, this is a vintage photo from um, that I had. And then I've lined it with more lace and I made a little wooden frame. I've used just satin ribbon for ties, so very simple, so it's easy. Uh, it's not a fat journal. There's only uh, two signatures. It is a soft cover journal with a soft color cover spine. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So here you come to the very first page. Um, the inside is fabric. And then to begin with, right in the very beginning, I have a belly band with some antique uh, vintage sheet music. This is a card that closes up like this. And then to the side here, I have put above that, I have put the actual note card that goes inside the envelope. That's right here. So you can write on it and stick it inside and if you want to mail it. I've used lace and um, for tabs by cutting them down and just gluing them onto the pages. Obviously, there's a lot of coffee stain paper in here. Uh, embellished butterfly, embellished rose. You know, let me try to get you some more lighting. I think it's a little dark. Let me see if this helps any. Oh yeah, maybe that will help. Now you can see the sparkle. Okay, so then there's a rose. More vintage sheet music here. Here I've made you a little journal card with some lace, or actually it's organza ribbon on the very top. Uh, this is a button card with some vintage buttons. And then this is just a little fold out piece of paper that you can just put a note on and write on the back, nothing major. On this page, you have another uh, lace flip more coffee stained paper. I tried to leave a lot of room for journaling in this one as opposed to filling it all up with tucks and pockets and all that other good stuff. So here's some more roses that have been embellished with some glitter. More of the images. Now the paper has been coffee stained as well as I've also used some uh, distressed spray inks on them. So you'll notice that some of them have a, a pinkish tinge and some have a very light mellow green tinge. And I just was trying to pull out the um, images where that color was residing. So here's another page. Now this was made out of a, an envelope and basically it was just, I cut both ends off. Um, here I, I put an image with some lace and some satin ribbon. Here I made a little uh, card that you can uh, journal on the back side with. And then that goes in here. And then on this side is just actually some coffee stained paper that I embossed with some roses and some uh, glitter and then the word beautiful and then it just opens up and you can write on it and then that goes right back down in here I'm 
turn it again. More images here. This is a little tuck spot. I've sewn around the card. I've made a journal tag here. And then here's another little tag that you can journal on the back side. I tried to make sure that I kept these colors as muted as possible because I really wanted this journal to flow. I wanted it to have that era of romance without being over the top. So subtle, I guess is a good way to explain it. Some more roses. Again, some more tuck spots with some vintage paper. Here, um, I've used some uh, trim and some lace as a tab. Again, another tab that I've made with some ribbon that was uh, stuck in the top and tied off. Uh, this is one of my fabric tags that I recently made. This one here says Collie Wobbles. So for those of you in England, you'll probably know what that means. More of that vintage sheet music. Here's more of the uh, small journal cards card here, a larger tag here. More journal space. And of course this page was left blank. And then here's the second signature. And you start out again with the, the highlighted green. This is your first page. This is a belly band made out of vintage music. The embroidered piece I received from Helen White. Um, she was a swap partner that I had done something with, with a belly band. And then here I made this little window envelope for this postcard. And then it just, it comes right out of the envelope and it's all sewn so you can take it out if you want to. And then that just fits right back in there. More space for journaling. Uh, paper doily, more little journal cards with a tag. You flip it over again. Now this was made out of old uh, book print with some uh, cheesecloth, some embellishments. This is uh, a card that I embellished on the top with some roses and ribbon just to give it that vintage look. More antique music paper. Again, another button card with vintage buttons. I have a lot of these from my grandmother. She was a professional seamstress for Singer Sewing Machine Company back in the early 19th century. So, long time ago. <laughs> um, here's another card that I made, and this time I took my die cut machine, and I actually made the little square, technically it could have been used to sandwich together for like a specimen card, but instead I decided to turn it into a picture frame with backing it with glassine and then putting the tag on the top so you kind of have a see-through area and yet a place to tuck stuff. Here is another uh, fabric card that I made and then just a little picture of uh, some women. More lace embellishments. This is another tuck spot with some vintage buttons. Here is another uh, card holder. This one again is a pocket. It's embellished with lace, some floral and rhinestones. And then this one, I've added some satin ribbon and some roses to the top. And then that just slides right back down in there. More lace and ribbon trim. Again, another tuck spot with some vintage buttons and a tag. This here is a, a journal card that you can write on, just goes right in there. Some more journaling cards, little ones. Another embellished rose. This is just an, an envelope that you could put something in. And again, a journal card, and here I kind of tab the top with some ribbon some more vintage of uh, music paper, another flip tag, another tuck spot, more paper, doily, a postcard, another large rose, and then the last page I have two little pop-up windows and they basically have pictures of 
perhaps ancestors of Rosie. So I hope you enjoy. Um, I will have this available for uh, purchase on my Etsy store shortly. Thank you for taking a look at my video and I hope to have more videos posted soon. Have a great day. Bye now.